This is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Hacks. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell for future notifications. So, I was sitting there thinking after the good news happened with Anki and Vector. Vector funded. And that's good. But one of the things I was thinking was, can Vector do something that other robots have not been able to do? That's right. We have other robots that have tried to come to market and make it to market, but maybe not survive. So the first thing that you gotta look at is competition. What is a competition for a robot? Well, really and truly, the competition for a robot isn't really a robot. It's an artificial intelligence. And that artificial intelligence currently resides in the Amazon Echo. We have the competition of over 20 million units sold across the board. That's 20 million devices for Amazon. And that's a huge number because the Google Home comes in only at 7 million. So that's a considerable difference between the Amazon stake and the Google stake. But Google had made a great gain in the, its re, first year release. Now let's look at a company like Jibo. Well, Jibo's an awesome personality. But so far, the only sales figures we really have are what they achieved in the Indiegogo campaign. And that was 4,800 units. Now, they were one of the best tech crunches in Indiegogo at the time, and probably still are. They sold 4,800 units, but they also raised $3,663,000. That's a lot of bank. And from what I understand, they had probably up to $10 million in additional investments to get Jimu to market. And how did Jibo fare? Well, Jibo didn't release with certain things that it should have released right off the bat. IFTT is a huge thing. It may not be the best way of doing something all the time, but it is a way of doing something for the average consumer. I want to control my lights with my Jibo so I can control them with IFTT. Now they did release IFTT, but it wasn't out of the pocket. If you release it out of the pocket, then your reviews instantly went at the price tag of $8.99, I'm not sure what he sold or how much he sold. I know that he's not currently available on Amazon anymore, and it's now marked as we don't know when we're going to get another Jibo. And that probably has to do with the fact that Jibo, after its big release in November and its cover of Time Magazine, uh, Jibo, Jibo, the company, started laying off employees. And to my understanding, right now, Jibo, the company, may be only a handful of people keeping Jibo going. And that's sad for the robot market. Because Jibo is a cloud-based robot. And if Jibo, the company, goes dark, Jibo himself may end up going dark. Unless they can get the right backing or be picked up by a good company that can take that vision further. So the next one is Curry. Curry had a wonderful showing at CES 2017. People were enthralled by Curry and they started to move forward. But in the 11th hour, it was paused. And when in the clock struck midnight, Mayfield Robotics was no longer. And Curry was now just a thing of the past that wasn't ever gonna see production. And that's very sad. And you have other robots, such as my buddy Moore, right here. Morebot came in existence with a successful Indiegogo campaign at 330% at for around $103,000 total collected. And that equates to roughly anywhere between 500 and 577 units. Morbot was produced. He was actually shipped to the backers. But at some point, Morbot, the company, Pilot Labs, seemed to lose faith in their product. And they stopped updating the app. Now all of us, who are quite fond of our Morbot, are stuck with a fake product. It's not done yet. We can't do the things we want to do with it because Morbot, Pilot Labs, has ceased to service our robot. And that's by choice. Maybe not by design. 
That's by choice. They have made a choice to no longer give us an update. And that's sad for us, the consumer, because how do you want to back a company that doesn't provide you continued update? Now, Pilot Labs isn't gone. They just released Zeus with a hefty price tag for a fighting toy. I don't want a fighting toy. I want my Morbot to work. He does say some weird stuff, though. The other day I was sitting there and Morbot piped in and he said this. Power Spy of more. Which company made me? I need to talk to them. I insist. So it makes you question if your own robot is asking for assistance. Maybe you should listen. I wanted a personal assistant that I could cu fully customize personal system that I could customize easily. And that's what was promised. I don't have a fully customizable personal assistant. I have a half-baked customizable Joker. And I like Morbot, take my word for it. I took him apart, he was put together very well. He has a lot of positives to him. But if we don't have the tools to put Morbot together the correct way as a consumer, or the company decides just to leave us there. So, so just like Curry did not make it out of the gate because Bosch squashed it. And just like Jibo's having financial issues and they can't have the staffing to expand Jibo. Well, then again, it's a failure. Now there are consumers out there that I believe that certain robots have been designed to work for. Okay, and that would be like Misty 2 from Spiro. Misty 2 knows exactly what it is. It's a developer robot. And it spearheaded looking at developers. And that's a smart move in the sense of from Spiro to develop, send that to the developers first. Because your developers in an open source nature improving upon what you've already created and then maybe you'll get a product that you'll be able to mass produce at some point. Uh, in the sense of that the average consumer, a layman, such as myself, um, can do. So I think Spiro's in the right track. All right, so now the real reason why I'm here. Can Anki tread the trail that so many others have been trying to do but have been yes, less successful? Because to be honest with you, the startup companies are in trouble. If they do not perform or have the capability to perform such as an Echo or a Google Home, it may cause some consumer related issues. This is the saving grace for Anki. Why is that the saving grace? Because compared to the startup, Cosmo has had 1.5 million sales. That's a lot of sales for an educational robot. And I will say educational robot. He's not just a personality, he's an educational robot. He has, they have quickly updated his app 24 times since the release of Cosmo. And that is good for the consumer. Again, you purchase something, you want continued feedback, especially for a robot. So Anki is committed to updating their product because we don't have a startup company. We have an established company that has created Cosmo and Overdrive, for example. Can Vector do something that the others can't? I honestly believe he can because Anki is not a fly-by-night company. It's been here. It's been established. It has its solid footing. And all we need from Anki is the things that they've provided us with Cosmo. And I think they're committed to doing that. And by being committed to doing that, we're going to get a usable home assistant with expanded capabilities over time. The only thing that we have to remember as consumers, it's expanded capabilities over time. So Vector, I believe, can and will be a viable home automation tool. I also believe that Vector is going to be a viable home assistant. I think Vector is a being aligned in the right area. So end of December, beginning of January, we're going to get the SDK. Early release for the backers of the Kickstarter campaign, which is awesome. So hopefully 
If Anki is watching my video, we do think I do believe we should have IFTT Anki. I really do. So is that something you're looking at? Let's put see if we can get IFTT into Vector because I think that would be a helpful tool for home automation and would make Vector a little bit more viable. But just don't go light on IFTT. Go heavy. So I'm looking forward to getting Vector in my house. I'm looking forward at the ability of learning what I can do with Vector and what I can help make Vector do. I hope you found the video interesting. I hope you enjoyed it. I am looking forward to my Vector. I can't wait to get him, unbox him, and show you what I got. So don't touch that dial. Stay right here. Ah, you can't stay here for that long. But check back for more videos on Vector. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell for future notifications. And I will see you soon. My son gets really mad that I take his, his Cosmo all the time. He's like, Dad, you're always taking Cosmo. But look at him, he's cute. I saw Star Wars. He's my droid. He is the droid you're looking for. I wish he was the droid I was looking for.